Hey everyone, it's Ali, and welcome back to my channel. Today I figured I'd do something a little bit different. I am going to show you 10 of my favorite snacks under 200 calories. Notice I'm not necessarily saying healthy. <laughs> Some of these are healthier than others, but these snacks all are under 200 calories. Most of them are actually under 150. I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely one who enjoys a good snack. I can't go more than like three hours without eating something. I tend to eat lower calorie meals and have at least three or four snacks throughout the day, honestly. And these are a lot of the ones that I have on the daily. Also, just a little disclaimer, I will be talking about calories, of course, in this video and counting calories. So if that is triggering for you, just go ahead and click off and you can watch one of my other videos. First snack I'm going to be showing you guys today is good old rice cake, but not just any rice cake you'll see. But I'm starting with a Quaker, just kind of normal plain rice cake. It's 35 calories, nothing too crazy, but then we're going to add some Nutella. Now to keep this under 200 calories, since a serving of Nutella alone is 200 calories, you just want to do the one tablespoon, and you'll see that it's more than enough if you're just having one rice cake. So you got your one tablespoon of Nutella, which is 100 calories, and you're putting it on the rice cake. So total, this is only 135 calories. And not only is this a very nice little snack, but it kind of always gives me my fix of something really sweet. And I personally love Nutella, and I feel like this is a way for me to have it without having too much of it. So there you go. Snack number one. Delish. Also, I will add that you can also do this on a caramel rice cake, which is delicious. They are more calories. They're 50 compared to 35, but that is still a great option. Next up, we've got some good old applesauce. This is something that is fairly cheap, but is a great snack that almost tastes like a dessert. So this is only 90 calories per one serving, and that is two-thirds of a cup. So actually a decent amount, as you'll see. This is one of my favorite things, and you'll want to make sure that you're getting the unsweetened applesauce that only has apples. So we've got one third there. We're going to add, whoop, can we do it? We're going to add another third. So it really is a good amount of stuff. This is one that I like to have as a dessert in the mid-afternoon or in the evening. doesn't really matter, but it kind of gives you that fix. Of course, you've got to add some cinnamon. What is applesauce without cinnamon? Doesn't add any calories, but just gives it a little bit of something, something extra. You also could add some oats into this if you really wanted to, kind of make it own cobbler. But this is a great snack on its own. Here we've got some pickles. And of course, we're not barbarians, so we're talking about dill pickles. We don't even say sweet pickles in my household. Actually, I think Ryan loves them, but we don't need to talk about that. But pickles are great because they are so low in calorie. But with pickles, what you have to, of course, watch out for is the sodium. Of course, just because they are low calorie doesn't mean they're super great for you. So just enjoy a few. All right. Now, of course, I had to include some nuts because this is a quick and easy snack that has a ton of protein so it can keep you full. I will say I don't eat a lot of nuts often unless I have a bunch of extra calories in my day because they do pack a lot in just a small amount. Sorry, my camera did not want to focus there, but there are 160 calories in these honey roasted peanuts in a fourth of a cup. So you'll see a fourth of a cup is not really that much. It's literally like a big handful basically. So if you are counting your calories, you really have to be careful with nuts. Some are lower than others, but I do like ones that have some flavor to them, but you can see that's a whole fourth of a cup. Here is Possibly my favorite snack of all time. It is the Skinny Pop White Cheddar Popcorn. It's only 43 calories per cup. This snack is wonderful for when you are binging something on Netflix. Popcorn is one of the best snacks you can have that will make you feel like you are having a lot of something and also having a lot of junk food. As you can see, you get three cups for a serving for 150 calories. And this will last you quite a bit into your movie. So pretty good. Good to uh, sneak into the movie theater. Although don't do that. They need money. Um, pay them. Now we've got something that is great for if you want some pasta, but you don't want a full meal, like a big meal. 
or you're going to eat a salad with it or something like that. And here we have the good old rice ramen. It's just like the ramen you know and love, but it's made from rice. So this is 120 calories per half of a piece. And you'll see the piece is really not that big. So you're not getting a ton of food. And this is something that I would recommend weighing. I do weigh most of my food. For this video, I'm just showing you measuring it, but I really do weigh most of it just because it's more accurate. But you can see that's how much ramen you get for the serving. So not a lot. So that's why I'm including this in my little snack series here. <laughs> so you just weigh it and then you cover it with water, pretty simple. And then you put it in the microwave for four minutes. This is it after it has come out. So that's what it's looking like. But we don't want just plain rice ramen, do we? That's boring. We need some cheese. So we got some Parmesan cheese here. I'm just going to be adding the serving size, which is two teaspoons for 20 calories. So that's going to put us at a total of 140 calories for this portion. Of course, you can double the serving, and that will put you more like a typical meal size of food. So you could have double this portion for only 280 calories, so still pretty good, but this rice ramen is a great option. Next, we've got something that is not necessarily one of my favorites, but it is a great protein-filled, low-calorie option, and that is the good old hard-boiled egg. They do range in calories depending, but they're anywhere between 70 and 80. Now we're going to make some energy bites or protein balls, whatever you want to call them. So you'll need some Quaker oats. You'll also need some chocolate chips, of course. You'll need some peanut butter. And then you'll need some honey or maple syrup, whatever you want to use. And finally, some vanilla. So first, you want to use one cup of these old-fashioned rolled oats. I'm using the Quaker ones here, but of course you can use any brand and it'll get you done. But that is the main ingredient of these power balls. Then you'll also need some chocolate chips. This recipe specifically calls for mini chocolate chips, but I just had regular and spoiler, it worked. Then you need some peanut butter, but I determined that we had like no peanut butter, as you can see. I actually did have another jar of peanut butter hiding in the back of my closet, which I didn't realize I had. So instead, I did a little switcheroo, and I decided to use Nutella for this recipe. And spoiler, it worked. It was very good. So if you want to use Nutella instead of peanut butter, you can do that. That definitely makes this more of a dessert than like a protein ball. You're not getting as much protein with the Nutella. But that is an option that you can do if you want to do it. And then we'll add in the honey. Like I said, you can use something else instead of the honey. You can use maple syrup. You can use uh, like some monk fruit sweetener, anything like that. Just a little bit of sweetener. Or you could probably just not have this whole step altogether. I'm not sure how that would affect uh, the binding of the energy balls. But they definitely are plenty sweet enough with the chocolate chips and the peanut butter slash Nutella if you want to use that. But I am just adding in four tablespoons of honey. It takes forever to put in honey. Now we are adding in the vanilla. It's just a fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then a mixing, 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 mixing. And there it is, all mixed up. And then I actually put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. It just makes it easier to roll into balls. But then you just want to take your mixture and roll it into nice little balls. These can be kind of as big as you want. Obviously, it's going to affect the calories. This recipe said it made 30 servings, and I think I got 17 balls out of this, you'll see at the end. But, guys, I really made these balls like as small as I could, so you'd have to have really, really tiny ones to actually get 30 servings out of this. So, my calories ended up being probably a little bit more like 150 compared to the around 65 that the recipe said it would be. So just know that, that unless you get the like exact amount of servings, out of stuff like this, as the recipe suggests, like your calories are of course going to be a little bit off. They're also going to be a little bit up in this recipe just because I did use the Nutella, which is about 10 more calories per serving than peanut butter, and that's pretty standard. Nutella is always about 200 calories per two tablespoons, and peanut butter, no matter if you're using organic or the crappy Jif, 
it's going to be about 190 calories. So this is a snack where you're definitely only going to be able to have one, maybe two, if you are able to keep them pretty small. So just be aware of that and don't overeat these. Now we have potentially the greatest thing of this entire video, and that is this Sunday Shop Low Calorie Ice Cream, which you can find at Aldi's. Guys, this tastes better, in my opinion, than uh, Halo Top. It doesn't come quite as close to the Target low calorie brand, but this is the cheapest low calorie ice cream on the market, so I would absolutely recommend you pick it up. Right now, I believe they only have vanilla and chocolate, but both flavors are great. And now, last but definitely not least, I am going to be showing you my favorite uh, protein shake recipe. I barely even call this a protein shake. This literally tastes like a milkshake. So of course you're going to need some ice. I use almond milk. You could use some alternative milk, but almond milk is only 30 calories per serving. Then I've got uh, some protein powder. I use the Bloom Sups. And then some PB2. So of course we're going to start off with the ice in the bottom. You gotta start out with the ice in the bottom, guys. And then after the ice, we're gonna add in our almond milk. I just use this Almond Breeze Blue Diamond, but you can use any kind of almond milk you want. That one is relatively cheap though, so I'm gonna be putting in the full serving of one cup of almond milk. So after the almond milk, we are gonna put in our protein powder. I personally use Bloom Sups Whey Isolate Protein. The vanilla milkshake flavor, it's delicious. It is 100 calories per serving, but actually usually in my shakes I only use about half of a serving. For me that's enough, and that gives me about 50 calories towards the shake. And this truly is great, and they have a lot of flavors. And then we are going to add in some PB2, which I would absolutely recommend you put in your shakes instead of peanut butter. It is so much better for you calorie-wise. For two tablespoons, it's only 60 calories compared to about 190 for real peanut butter. I think this tastes exactly like normal peanut butter in a shake, and it really is what takes this shake to the next level, in my humble opinion. So now that everything is in there, we're just gonna blend it up. And then I went ahead and did the great YouTuber thing where when I thought I was recording, I wasn't, and then I ended up recording myself cleaning everything up, which nobody cares about. So just know that this was really delicious looking at the end. I put in a cute little green straw. Sorry you missed it. But those were some of my favorite low calorie snacks, snacks under 200 calories. Most of them roll in around the 150 calorie mark, so really great options for in the mid-morning or mid-afternoon or evening. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I make new videos every Monday and Friday. And let me know if you want me to do more videos like this, like on lunches or dinners or whatever. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!